everybody, welcome back to Women Carry Knives. If you just heard that knock, that was my knuckle on the table. It's okay. I'm okay. And there goes my wrist. Okay. I'm okay. Um, <clears throat> so this was courtesy of Kevin Lefty EDC from Devo Knives. Sent this over for us to look at. And I couldn't be more happy with it. Thank you so much to him for sending this over. Um, before we begin, if you guys could hit that like button, I'd really appreciate it. And if you are not a subscriber, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you here all the time. If you do, don't forget to hit that ring. Don't forget to hit that ring. Don't forget to hit that bell so that it'll notify you whenever I do drop a new video. All right, you guys, the Devo Knives Buzz. These were on pre-order for $2.99, but now they are going for $3.19. Still well worth the money. I am absolutely loving this. I, you know, a lot of the knives we've been giving in, getting in lately, I've been in love with. I'm bound to come across one that I don't like, and I'm sorry for whoever that may be, but um, for these, this, you guys, you remember the Devo Knife Stout. That was awesome. This, just as awesome. I am absolutely loving it. So, for 319, what are you going to get? Well, you are going to get a 20 CV. Um, they call this the Buzzcliff blade. So this is going to be what they call the Buzzcliff shape. And I love it. And it has a beautiful hollow grind on it. Can you see that? If I can catch that. Look at that. Oh, yeah. That is just so well done. Comes down to a nice thin edge. Absolutely beautiful. As the dog chokes right here. You okay there, puppy? <laughs> For those of you that like to carry it left-handed, of course, you do have a reversible deep carry clip on there, which is nested into the scales, and it is righty-lefty, so you've got your lefty love. Or for those of you that don't understand that, it is ambidextrous. Now, it is not a true deep carry, although it does have a deep carry clip. Um, it is just a tiny bit above the pocket. But, I, you know, my kind of limit is about a half an inch. If it sticks up out of the pocket more than half an inch, I don't prefer to have it at all. This is right under a quarter inch. So that is just perfect. I like the wire clips. I feel that they're very sturdy, yet um, they slide in and out of the pocket so easily. And that's nice. Now, this is another one that since this is not ours, but I have carried it. And I've carried it on the waistband, in the back pocket, and the front pocket. And I actually have to say that it is... Really, for its size, it is actually very comfortable in the front pocket. So I, I would, I just kind of was shocked. I thought it wasn't going to be so. And you know, coming from a woman who has pants that their pockets really suck, um, that's nice. That's really nice. We ladies do like it when we can carry them comfortably. Um, it is a front flipper, or for those of you that like to spidey flick, you do have your nice little thumb. I guess you want to call it your thumb cut out. You can roll it out. You can thumb flick it. Or, excuse me, you can middle flick it. You could probably thumb flick it if I could get my thumb out of the way. Or you can use the front tab. And this is one that's a little bit larger, so it is a little bit harder for me because uh, the arthritis doesn't allow my thumbs to get quite in the right place. So the nice thing about these, these are, okay, these are going to be tie scales. Um, you do have a nested tie liner, which is very nice. And then you have a steel lock bar insert. You do have some speed holes or some holes on the inside, which I, there's no way you guys are going to be able to see. Well, maybe if I hold it just right. I don't know if you can catch that in there, but it does have some uh, holes milled out in there for weight reduction which is really nice came perfectly centered absolutely beautiful your lockup on this one is going to be about 40 percent well yeah we'll call that about 40 percent very very smooth now this is not a knife that's going to drop oh yes almost if you get a little bit of shake at the end okay you can actually front finger flick it too so if you get it just right you see here oh now i can't do it there we go. Almost had it. Got that first time. But in hand, it is very comfortable. I'm going to call this a, I'm going to call it a Marge, medium size large. Um, the handle itself, because of the width, which you're looking at, you know, about an inch there. But very good size. It gives me a really good um, 
safe feel, like it's not going to slip out of my hand at all. While you don't have jimping on here, you really don't need it because of the way the handle ramps up here to the blade. It's just a very good design in that sense. Let's do some size comparisons. So let's start with, a lot of you know the Rat 1 or Rat 2, sorry about that. So you can see that I consider this to be kind of more of a medium. While this is not that much bigger, um, it's the way that it's shaped and the way that it's made makes it feel like it's larger than it is, which is always nice. You can see here next to the bug out, which I consider medium, that's also going to be a medium. And to compare it to a larger knife, we have got our rat one here. So it, it you know, the rat one almost kind of, I don't want to say dwarfs it, but does make it look a lot smaller. There is nothing better to me than a knife that looks smaller, but feels like a large knife in hand because it's one that I'm going to be able to use and is going to be very comfortable and sturdy to me. And I love it. Here's the neat thing about these. So they have four different versions. You have what's called the Silver Fox version, which is going to be stone wash, um, a stone wash tie and stone wash blade, which is basically this one. You're going to have the reverse tux version, which is going to be a bead blasted tie with a black washed blade, which that sounds really cool too. I've seen the pictures and it looks really cool. You're also going to have the tux version, which is the black wash, black wash tie and satin blade. This would be the tux version. This is the black wash one with the satin. So this is going to be your tux version. And then, so you've got the reverse or the silver fox, the reverse tux, the blackout, and the tux. And then you also have the option to get um, a Zerkutai backspacer. And those are really cool. So we do not have one of those, so I cannot show you that. But that little bit of pop of color will be really, really cool, especially if you get the blacked out one, which is the black wash tie and the black wash blade. So I think that little pop of color is going to look really, really good on that. I love their little pivot. they got the logo on there, the Devo knives. I think that's very cool. Um, as I said, in hand, this has been just beyond comfortable. The clip has positioned very nicely. It's perfect on there. It's not a hot spot at all for me. So I don't know if a larger hand... Uh, maybe when a therapeutic edge reviews it, he'll see, you know, it, I, he's carried it. I don't, I didn't actually ask him, so I don't know if the, uh, if the clip was a hot point for him at all, but I know that for me, it has not been, it's very, very comfortable. I can actually choke up on this one too. Um, so you can see how much room is left on that. This is great for small hands and it's great for the larger hands too, because you're going to be able to get all fingers on this one. Um, although it is titanium and a lot of times it can feel... A little bit too slick I did not have a problem and being in the winter time I have not had a problem with this at all so summertime is always easier because you know your hands are warmer um, in the winter time when your hands are colder sometimes titanium can be a little more slippery so to speak um, this has been great this has been great not an issue at all I do want to go let's well let's take a look at some of the measurements on here so you're looking at about a three just over three and a quarter inch blade and your cutting edge is going to be just over three inches. Your closed length. And we're going to put that front flipper tab in there. So you're looking at about four and a half inches. Just under four and a half. Which is going to give you an overall of seven and a half inches. So that is a really good size. Love that. Now, your weight on this one said four, it said four ounces. Let's take a look. I want to give that to you guys in grams also. And my scale's been doing weird things today. So let's see what happens. Let's put this on ounces first. Okay, so 4.3. If we switch it over to grams, we've got 121 grams. For all my gram friends out there. All right, you guys, pluses to this knife. Um, there are, to me, there are just, there's so many. I love the fidget factor of it. Um, before I was playing with knives too much today, I was actually able to use my front finger to flip it open. I actually cannot do that right now. Um, I do have an issue flipping it after I've been playing with knives too long. There we go. Got it that time. It's a really good size, but your fidget factor on this, for those of you that like to flip your knives, um, I mean, you've got three options. 
So if you don't want, and the other thing I have to say is I really love the way they um, contoured their flipper tab. It's not or their front front flipper tab, however you want to call it. I like that it's contoured. It's got some perfect jimping. It's not too coarse, not too hard, and it's not too light. So it's really, really good. Ugh, trying to get it with that, but it's not going to go. Okay. So I love how it's just, the lines on it are just absolutely perfect. I love how it goes away. Um, just one piece. The finish is just beautiful. The way everything's done. You know, I've been really loving this one. So we've known Lefty for a little while, and it's been fun to watch his knives go from concept to reality. Um, we have a couple friends that have done that, and it's been an absolute blast watching them from what they started with, from what they thought. You know, they took it and they had it just scribbled on a napkin or a piece of paper, and then to be able to get a finished product in hand is just awesome. And um, you always wonder what's it going to be like um, looking at that original picture. And then when you do get it in hand, you're just, you know, it, it's exciting. It's really exciting. And it's fun to be able to be to be part of, hey, you remember when I drew this down on paper? Well, how I'm going to send it to you, the finished product. What do you think? And, you know, he's doing some great things, and I'm really excited for him. You guys, if you get a chance, get on over there and support him and grab one of these. You won't be sorry. It is wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. This is one that, um, again, I do not have one. This is not ours. It did come in for review, but one that I would probably get as soon as I can afford one because it's just, to me, it is just that good. And I know I say that a lot about a lot of knives, but I tend to not review knives that I don't like. Uh, my channel is basically about the knives that I do like and I do carry. So if you guys have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave it down in the comment section. Again, this is, has been the Devo Knives Buzz. I will leave a link down in the description for you. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time.